Hello, today we will discuss about heat transfer in cryogenic uh, propellant tank will use in ISRO. So how the scientists will design or how heat transfer will uh, thermal design this of the tank. If you know the cryogenic, the cryogenic uh, temperature is around minus 269 degree Celsius. So uh, atmosphere is around 300 Kelvin or um, it is like that it is like 4 kelvin so heat transfer from here to here is very much high so it will lead to thermal performance of this tank so so mainly we will design this in thermal design so first this is outer vacuum jacket and this is inner vacuum jacket this is divided into two parts so this is inner vacuum jacket and inside this one another vessel this is inner vessel inner vessel and this is outer vessel and there are no space in between uh, means there are uh, some of the space between this and inside of this this vacuum space is there so so heat transfer will goes from here to here it is only because of radiation so now we will uh, go for radiation of this cil infinite cylinder equation we will solve in python and we will see the what is the effect of this uh, temperature or emissivity of different material so first we will go for this we know that our q is equal to stephen boltzmann constant emissivity our u factor and t raised to 4 minus t2 raised to 4 so we know that our e is equal to our u factor is equal to like this one q is equal to um, stiffen area t1 rest to 4 t2 rest to 4 and 1 upon e1 emissivity of this surface plus 1 minus e2 divided by e2 emissivity of this surface and d1 divided by d2 this is the equation of our heat transfer of this cylinder so now we will solve in this equation in python and we will see what the effect of this t1 temperature and our emissivity so now we will go for it in python first we will import our numpy numpy as np import matplot library dot py plot as plt and import math now we'll see stephen boltzmann constant s is equal to 5.67 e raised to minus 8 and our uh, area means first we will define our diameter d1 is equal to 50 and we will divide into 100 because of this in meter d2 is equal to around 300 divided by 1000 in meter now our area area is equal to a1 is equal to math okay i will say num np dot pi multiply by pi d d1 multiply by length l so our length is equal to cylinder length is equal to l is equal to 500 or 500 divided by 1000 in meter so it is 500 mm and same a2 a2 is equal to numpy and I will change D2 so this is my surface area of cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 now we will define our emissivity I will say E1 is equal to 0 0.404 and E2 is equal to 0 0.3 or I will say SS property 0 0.13 now we will define our stiffer means Q is equal to Q is equal to 
एस मल्टीप्लाई बाय ए वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय डिफाइन टी वन एंड टी टू लोड टी वन इज इक्वल टू फोर कैलविन इन कैलविन एंड टी टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड कैलविन Now I will say T1 raised to 4 minus T2 raised to 4 divided by 1 divided by E1 plus 1 minus E2 divided by E2 and this multiplication of d1 divided by d2 divided by d2 this is our equation I will bracket all this thing so it will not confuse program and I will say print my q this is simple formula if I run this code I will say my heat load is around 1.38 watt for 500 mm of length. So now we will change our value of T temperature around from NP dot line space from 4 to 77. It is nit liquid nitrogen temperature and I will divide this into 30 number of parts and I will don't print it I will see VLT dot plot I will say T1 comma Q so it will generate every T1 with same area what is the heat load of this equation by radiation so if I run this code here you can see that my heat load from 77 it is least one means uh, smallest one and here 4 Kelvin I have maximum but here you can see that around 20 it become flat so my heat load will not increase after 20 degree by by radiation so by this way you can um, generate your T1 or temperature graph versus your heat load graph so by this way you can uh, formulize or methodize your what is the heat leak of your tank so please share and subscribe to my channel thank you guys it is very practical problem